Hi guys, Lou here, Tiny Mountain Houses. You know what I'm gonna do, but this is super, super awesome. What we've got here is actually a two box modular design, tiny houses. There are two tiny houses connected. As you can see, there's a deck that's been added outside. As you look at the exterior of this beautiful two box system, what you're gonna see here or what you do see here are two units the first one being, they're both shed roof. You got, you know, a single slope. The second one also, and they connect through a doorway. There's a loft um, in the second unit to my right with a bedroom. On my left, there's two entrances. One is on the end, and we'll go through that in just a minute. And the other's off to the side. The one to my right actually has a living room, full kitchen, and it looks absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the owners have, have decored this house and it, it is, they've just done a fabulous job. I can't wait to show you the inside of this build. Uh, a, a contemporary uh, farmhouse look. Um, as you can see, the outside has the board and bat, nice size windows, um, and this beautiful deck that's been added after the fact really accentuate this build. So with that, I think we're gonna scoot on inside. What do you say? Hey guys, check this out. So first off, front door, there's two doors accessing um, what is the living room and kitchen area. And you'll see the kitchen area here in just a second. Um, this is a, a cottage style half light door, perfect fit for, for, the, for, the, for the features in this house. You'll notice, I wanna point out this, this board and bat look, the shiplap ceiling in here, and look at these colors the craftsman style trim work around the windows and doors, I think really do a fantastic job of accentuating this build. Now we've got can lights throughout here, as you can see, ceiling fan, um, and, and, and we've got a, a plank floor in here. I think it just does a really nice job of balancing the flavors in here, if you will. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep walking here and I'm gonna show you the kitchen itself and the cabinetry in here. This is, you know, it's just a, I mean, it's expansive. Um, you've got the white shaker cabinets, great hardware add. Look at the size of this apron sink, the black walnut uh, countertops, the butcher block that I love so much. I'm always talking about it. Look at this faucet, soap dispenser. Once again, you know, the, the window, I mean, the setting for this, the, these two boxes, these two modules is just phenomenal out here. We're on acreage out in the country, um, and, and it, it, it really, I mean, I can't, I'm gushing. I know I am, and I'm sorry, but I really, really love this, this, this design, this build, and how it turned out, and the setting of this. Um, as we walk through this kitchen, you'll see the Subway white tile, full-size uh, gas range, range hood, um, lots of cabinets up here. Um, a full-size refrigerator. And I think I really like the way the white turned out here. And a lot of times we use uh, either black, matte black, or stainless steel. But I think the white does a fantastic job of just making it happen in here. As you look on my right, um, now we've got the dining area here, the living area as we just entered, and then we've got this buffet area here. Once again, you know, continuing the black walnut. Look at all these drawers, all this storage, all the storage above it. And continuing the, the subway tile. Uh, I mean, it just keeps going. As we look at the second entry here, notice another half light door, the gray paint. I mean, just I mean, these soft colors, the transitions. I mean, okay, I know, I know. So um, as we walk over, you notice another window here, a nice little uh, niche area there. Um, okay. So, so I'm standing in the laundry room and next to the access to the only loft in this house, which is through this, our sweeping ladder. I, I want to point out, this is where the two units join together. So these are two two by four walls sandwiched together that we trimmed out really nice, I think, uh, to access into this area. So that's why it's so thick right here. As you walk into this space behind me, is, is the laundry room where the washer and dryer go, and there's some cabinetry back here. But um, right now, we're not gonna take a good look at that because things are a little bit messy. So anyway, with that, I think we wanna turn a little bit, and we're gonna take a look at this barn door. 
um, which is beautiful. It's a it's a pine barn door with some some really cool hardware, I think. Um, and as we walk into the bath. Okay, guys, I'm 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 on the other side of this barn door, but I really wanted you to see it. Isn't it way cool? You see the hardware, the pine, the plank, how it ties in. Hey, so well with this house. I mean, as you look at the ceiling, you'll see the T and G, the tongue and groove pine, the pine beams that are beautifully finished with a with a, a clear seal coat um, coming into this bathroom. Let's see if we can get a shot here. Um, we've got a, a one piece um, tub in here, shower. Look at the surround, look at the tile work. Now, keep in mind this tile work was all done here on site because I don't recommend doing this extensive amount of tile in our facility and then shipping because chances are the grout's gonna fracture and it's not gonna be as pretty as it should be. But as you look at this, I don't know, could you get in here and take a look at the finish work that we've done? back in this bathroom notice the quartz countertop the rectangular sink the cool faucet that ties in very well with the motif in here and look at the components and, and kind of some of the things that that this owner has done to accentuate this build and i think it's just absolutely beautiful um, i don't know if you got a shot of the heater it's a convection heater that's against the wall makes no noise whatsoever and provides a nice steady amount of heat in here once again, we continue with the board and bat, the um, um, shiplap ceiling, uh, white, and there's just a really mild changeover of colors, but it's just enough to really, I mean, I think it looks awesome. I think it looks absolutely awesome. So we're going to walk through um, into the bedroom area now. I want to sh check out this shaker door. Huh? Nice. The uh, Craftsman trim continues. And now we've got the bedroom. So look at the size of this bedroom. Jeez, for a tiny house, this is huge. If I remember correctly, we're almost 11 feet and we're eight foot eight in width in here. And it feels enormous. The sliding glass door adds all this uh, natural light in here. The windows in here, the shed roof, uh, the, the shed ceiling in here. I mean, it adds a lot of volume to this, to this, to this room. Um, so you can see we have a little office space in here, dresser, um, got this, um, um, oh gosh, what do you call it? A closet wardrobe space right here. Um, I don't know if I mentioned the uh, vinyl plank floor. It's a commercial grade vinyl plank floor that we've done in here. Um, and this good size, uh, sliding glass door. Rocker switches in here, extensive lighting throughout. And of course, I didn't talk much about this, but this house has um, on-demand tankless water heating system. It has um, two mini splits, which are ductless heating and cooling systems, as well as the heater I talked about just a second ago in the bathroom. And they added a portable heater up into the loft area that I'll show you in just a minute. So we're gonna swivel around right now and go into the loft space and give you a good idea of what that feels like. I think you'll be interested, come on. Hey, hey guys. So here we are in the loft area. Now this loft is eight foot eight and we're about 13 feet front to back. Notice we continue the shed roof in here, the egress window, got a second window over in the corner there and you'll see that in just a second. But the way this homeowner has this set up is got two beds up here. Um, they've added the air conditioner. It's, it's a, a, a floor style model. Notice the TNG floor. Notice the lighting in here. Accessible using the sweeping ladder. Good, cool space. It's closed off. You don't see that right now, but you will in a second from the bedroom area for privacy. So uh, I think it's turned out really well. I, I like it. So, Three, two, one. so there you go. You can see the, the flip side of this loft and the window that actually is facing the deck area there. Um, nice amount of room in here, you know, good for a couple of kids. And that's what they've got it set up as right now. I think it turned out beautifully. Hopefully you do too. All right, guys, let's talk about what I just talked about. I mean, this house is absolutely these two units making one house. I mean, I think turned out just, whoa, 
Now, something totally new for tiny mountain houses. Um, you know, this does not fall into, and it's not something I talked about already. You know, it is not a certified travel trailer because of the fact these two units are connected. So a little bit different than, than a lot of things we've done in the past, and you need to be aware of that. Um, but I do know that it turned out stinking awesome. So with these two units, shed roof, just to recap, you know, we've got almost 600 square feet of, of living space in here, counting the loft. Um, you've got two units that basically uh, uh, end up in being one living unit. This first unit that we're in now, the living room, the kitchen area. Look at all this cabinetry, the apron sink, full-size appliances you see in here, the white shaker cabinets. And by the way, these are soft clothes. These are full extension drawer guys, also soft clothes. Uh, the walnut countertops, which I love so much. Really cool uh, uh, fixtures in here um, and hardware on the cabinets. I think just really tie in very well with this build. The uh, uh, um, board and bat interiors, um, the craftsman style trim package that we did in here, good size windows, the, 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 the shiplap ceiling, all go very well in achieving this modern country vibe that we have here. The homeowner has done a great job of continuing that vibe, I think, you know, with, with her selection of, of furniture in here, I think really makes it all tie together very well. Um, let's see, what am I forgetting? The full deck. Um, this house is fully insulated, the two mini splits, the tankless on-demand water heating system, uh, the 40-year roof, 40-year uh, siding on this house. So some really cool stuff in here, guys. Hopefully you can appreciate some of the things that we've done. Uh, once again, if you have any questions of us, feedback, we love it. Um, hit the little like button there. We'd love to hear from you. If you're looking for a, for a builder to build you an awesome house, maybe just like this or any of our other designs, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Lou here, Tiny Mountain Houses, saying thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thanks to our team for, for doing what we've done here. And thanks to you for checking us out. Take care. Bye now.